the day of the actual fire, my son said, Mom, grab your stuff, we're going now. It's now or never. No sooner did he say that, the subdivision right next door took seven and a half minutes to burn. 27 homes gone like that. What I saw that night, like I'll never, I'll never forget. And at that point I knew like my town was gone. My heart was broken. Ran into my daughter's uh, high school coach and he said, everything is gone. And I gave him a hug and he told me, at least I know it's not one of your bodies lying on the side and I'll never forget that. So, you know, that was August 8 and changed our lives forever. When the disaster happened, our Maui partners called us um, and said, we need you to come. So we brought the mobile clinic here and we were able to provide critical medical care and services for our families affected. Healthy Mothers, Healthy Babies were one of the first responders. That's the amazing thing about midwives and nurses. We just do whatever it takes and we adapt. In the aftermath of a disaster, I think that people don't realize how critical it is to deploy midwives and nurses. Um, I think they think about the immediate needs of like wound care, but they don't really think about women and babies. Women were able to come into our mobile clinic and find out they were pregnant for the first time and just could not believe that they were able to get that caliber of care in a disaster. When you take care of mothers and pregnant and parenting people, you end up taking care of the whole community and the mothers will call you to where you need to be. So will this be the first time you've actually seen baby? I seen okay. baby at eight weeks. Oh, okay. We're still in Lahaina all the time, making sure that our families there who are still unsheltered are getting the support that they need. So, so those, look, see the feet? Oh, feet? Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Heart. It's been so stressful ever since the fire because like we don't really have a place to call home like how we used to because you know Lahaina was home and it's just never going to be the same without Lahaina but we have no choice and like it's great that we have everybody's help and support. I don't know I just hope like this baby when it comes out it stays in like one place at least not having to just move around all the time. Yeah it's so nice to hear my baby. Yeah. We can always come see you. We will wrap you up in supportive services with a doula lactation to help with breastfeeding. That is that is so lovely. Like that's wonderful to hear. Yeah, honestly. That's really the point of having mobile services and the point of health equity in general, right? To get rid of barriers such as transportation barriers. Wherever the families are in need, we're able to serve. Everything looks wonderful. Yay! We're still in it, and we're in it for the long haul. The sense of gratitude will come from the families that we serve, but more importantly, I think that it's the sense of community and coming back to our roots and being able to care for each other. I think that's the most important thing that we're getting back. Day of the Fire actually is when we met my wonderful new team. And as Faith had it, I got a call from Sunny and she's like, come work for me. It takes a lot to help an organization thrive. It takes a lot, each and every one of you, you guys have your mana that you guys are bringing with you, all this good intention. And this is exactly what a new space needs, coming together as one whole energy force and moving forward for Lahaina and for all of Maui. That is the deepest importance. When the disaster happened, we didn't have the chance to be able to come together and bless our Maui office. A lot of our staff, they're from the community that was affected. They themselves were affected. And so when you're working in the burn zone, you can you can feel the need for protection. We all been through a lot this past year. As we go through and we do our jobs, I want you to always remember the person that you touch and the person that you be. Be the best version of yourself. We are so lucky to be chosen to be here today. When we think that our jobs are hard, we look to amazing women. So I ask that this office always be a place where we give the best care to those who cannot get it. And always remember when it gets tough, why we do what we do. We have a very, very long road to go. Every day we're still living and breathing 
the aftermath and even before the fires, caring for pregnant and birthing people was hard and it just made it that much harder. So I think now more than ever, the community needs to get together. As I reflect, I just have nothing but gratitude for you guys because we just have so many amazing women who support and uplift each other. The moment we were on the beach, we created the mobile clinic for that moment. That's how, that's how strongly we were drawn to each other. We chose each other. We're not public servants, we're women warriors. We're in this work together to make our community stronger because if there's anything that I've learned, it's that we can't do this alone. And if you're with amazing, strong women and you surround yourself with women that just support you and love you, we can do anything.